little tree, are used by a beetle, a weevil, in a way which is nothing short of uncanny. The results of its labors are commonly visible in hazel coppice, tightly rolled leaves still attached to the branches. The beetle is rarely seen at work. In fact, this is the first time it's been photographed. Remember, this extraordinary behavior is not in some exotic tropical jungle, but in an ordinary hazel coppice which could be found anywhere in Britain. The beetle's first move is to make a cut across the leaf near to the stalk end. Then it begins to fold the leaf in half along the central vein. The beetle is named after the work it does. It's called the leaf rolling weevil. It bites the leaf veins methodically as it goes. That's to weaken them for the next stage of the operation. The preparatory folding and biting looks difficult for the beetle. The leaf is, after all, designed to stay rigid and spread out to catch the sun. Considering the thickness and rigidity of the leaf and the size of the beetle, it's a gargantuan feat of strength, comparable in scale to a person trying to practice origami with a sheet of lino. The beetle's persistence pays off as the leaf is gradually folded in half. The next job is to tuck in the point. And now the rolling can really start. The beetle has hooks and pads on its feet and spines on its ankles to help it grip the leaf. The purpose of all this exertion is to provide a safe shelter for her eggs. So the first roll must be completely enclosed. That's why the beetle tucks the edge in so carefully. When the first roll is secure, she bites a hole through into the cavity to receive her egg. and in it goes. This is the tiny treasure which justifies all the beetle's labors. Now all the beetle has to do is to roll up the rest of the leaf, just like that. It's important to cover the egg hole as soon as possible in case something gets in to steal it. From the way she tucks in the sides and holds them in place, it seems as if the beetle might be using some form of glue, but there's no sign of adhesive of any kind in the finished roll. More probably, she's taking advantage of the physical properties of the leaf. 
Once it's curled up, it tends to stay in position. As the roll gets fatter, the work gets harder. But at last, after 20 minutes of continuous effort, the end is in sight. The final twist produces an almost magical effect, which depends for success on the small cut which the beetle made right at the beginning. The leaf tilts into a vertical position, and the last flap folds over, top surface uppermost, to provide a waterproof cover for the whole construction. A final tuck in the bottom end, and the job's complete. It's a far cry from a simple burrow in the ground to the stunning complexity of the leaf-rolling weevil's egg case. But they're both the same.